Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Eduardo Martinez and I'm the owner of We Move Moving Company. In today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to move, okay? So today's video, what it's gonna cover, it's four main topics, right? The first one is planning ahead. Second one is gonna be using a moving truck. Third one is gonna be what tools and equipment you'll need. And the fourth one will be uh, the helpers that you will need. Actually, you will definitely need helpers, okay? So starting off with the very first point, planning ahead. What do I mean by planning ahead? I hope that by this time you already know what day you're gonna move or the approximate date that you're gonna be moving. And also, if you've already started uh, packing, you understand firsthand that it is one of the most tedious tasks to do when you are moving. But when you already do that and you plan ahead, you realize that you're gonna have enough time, enough wiggle room to, to hire a mover um, in case you wanna go and do that to research their company, look at their webpage, take a look at their reviews, um, what, whatever else is needed to determine what moving company you're gonna use. Now, if you're not gonna be using a moving company, then it will also allow you the time to research and reserve your moving truck, okay? Now, that takes me to the second point, right? The moving truck. I understand rent or actually using a pickup truck seems easy enough now don't get me wrong it's a really great idea whenever you're moving within a five block radius or even within the same apartment complex one apartment to another right but regularly or actually the the strongest recommendation will be for you to rent a moving truck now the reason why this is going to be so important is because you want to make sure that everything fits within the same trip why is that so important? Because let's say you use a pickup truck. The pickup truck, you you can only load so many things inside the truck, and then from that point forward, you're gonna do multiple trips, which will consume gas, time, and energy, right? You wanna get it out of the way as quick as possible because moving itself is hard. You're gonna sweat, it's, it's, it's hard, okay? Let, let me just clarify, it's hard. So using a moving truck will definitely facilitate your process. Okay, so. That takes me to the next point, the tools and equipment. What will you need whenever you get the truck? You also wanna go ahead and uh, rent moving blankets, uh, furniture pads, furniture blankets. Uh, you wanna go ahead and rent box dollies, uh, so you could go ahead and put all the boxes on them and basically move everything inside the, the truck as quickly and efficiently as possible. Um, get, uh, if you're moving your appliances, rent an appliance dolly because it has a big strap in the middle that will hold your appliance in place uh, when you're moving your, your appliances, right? It'll keep it from falling off the dolly. Very important if you wanna prevent damages, okay? So, uh, you also need Allen wrenches. Uh, look in the back of, of your furniture. I mean, you'll, you'll realize what exactly, or what tools you'll need to help take it apart. Disassembling and reassembling seems easy enough. So when you take apart your furniture, just keep in mind that, that your things can get damaged. Why do I say that? Because let's say if you're taking apart your bed, right? Uh, the headboard is held together by two main uh, wooden uh, slabs, right? Or wooden pieces. But somebody needs to hold up one end while you unscrew the other. And then you could take it, uh, take it apart. If one person does that, it can or you can potentially damage your furniture, right? Not to mention, if it's heavy, you could hurt yourself. So please be careful. And um, well, that actually took me to, to the fourth point. Get somebody to help you out, right? Ask a friend, ask a family member, somebody that can hold to uh, hold something heavy for a long enough time uh, to prevent any damages and, and to help you load everything into a moving truck. Use the furniture pads to wrap it up before everything is loaded into a truck or if you're already inside the truck, wrap it up there. What that's gonna do, it's gonna protect your furniture. Keep in mind, you're, you're loading into everything into a truck, right? So everything is nice and tight, but as you're driving, things are basically shifting around. You wanna prevent damages, scratches, and all that to your furniture. So please use uh, moving blankets so <clears throat> if you choose to um, to hire a mover uh, that actually I strongly recommend that the the reason I say that is because they're gonna provide all of this for you they're gonna be able to tell you when um, when the availability for the move uh, or what day they have available for the move most of the time they will accommodate your schedule so long as you call them ahead of time uh, they will be providing the moving truck assuming that that's the service that you hire right so there's labor only services which sometimes you only require a mover to take one piece of furniture from one room to another or packing services which don't require a moving truck but if they do need to take your things from one place to another that's when they provide the moving truck okay the tools and equipment the tools and equipment, the guys bring everything that they will need to, to take apart your furniture. Keep in mind, by the time that your mover gets there, 
is because they've taken apart plenty of entertain taken apart plenty of entertainment centers and beds and whatnot. They know how to pivot couches out of the rooms or upstairs, downstairs, load into a truck in an efficient manner. So there's a lot of things that the mover already knows how to do because they do this for a living, right? <clears throat> also, it's gonna prevent you from getting hurt, and secondly, prevent your items from being damaged, right? Now, this does not mean that every single move is perfect, even for movers, experienced movers, because sometimes, let's say if you're moving a particle wood furniture, right? One of those I IKEA desks, they're beautiful, but when they're meant to be built once, and then once you load onto a truck as it's moving, you know, those things can potentially uh, get damaged. So, uh, you know, a lot of movers, such as myself, we have certain disclaimers that say we'll move it for you, but we cannot be held responsible for certain pieces, of certain items. Uh, please go and take a look into your, into your mover's terms and conditions or ask about their policies. I mean, the mover will be more than happy to share all the information with you. And finally, the helpers, um, <laughs> the movers are trained staff, right? Like I said, they've taken apart plenty of uh, furniture pieces, beds, and, and they know how to move quickly and efficiently. A professional mover will have their staff working quickly, and, and essentially they will know how to take care of your things, right? So this is a video for you. I hope it helps you out. You don't have to rent a, a, or hire a moving company. You could do it yourself, but so long as you take care of each one of these uh, four talking points, then yes, um, you can move yourself. Uh, save time, save, uh, save energy. Uh, again, uh, regarding the, the money factor, I mean, it depends on how big your home is, how many trips you're gonna take, how many people are gonna help you out. You know, there, there's a lot of factors in there. Um, but one thing for sure, be prepared for your mover in case you do hire a mover. Uh, because for example, let's say we're moving two, two bedroom apartments, right? So one customer, has everything in boxes and ready for us to load. The second one still has everything inside the cabinets that needs the packing services, right? They could be the exact same size apartments, but at the time the mover arrives, they might take a little bit longer with somebody that isn't ready and essentially will cost you a little bit more because uh, depending on the type of services or the, the rates that your mover charge, they might do hourly rates, which is what I do for local uh, in-town services, and, and it might just cost you a whole lot more money. So please be sure to plan ahead, uh, stay prepared, and guys, I really appreciate you watching this video. I would love if you could share a comment and let me know about previous moving experiences, uh, moving yourself, how, how it's helped you out compared to hiring a mover. If you have hired movers, how has that worked out for you in the past? Uh, please don't name drop. Um, keep in mind, I really respect the moving industry. Uh, there's a lot of hard work that is involved, and I wouldn't want anybody to, to um, I guess, uh, have their image hurt because of one bad experience now it doesn't mean every single mover is good or bad it just means that you know it's it's a dangerous job right um, guys I went uh, too long into this video I want to thank you for watching it and please feel free to check out the rest of my videos all right catch you later thank you